Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up MySQL on Mac OS X 10.11 and we also uh, set up the new uh, password for the root uh, uh, user because uh, there is a temporary password and you need to change this because otherwise you're not allowed to do anything or change anything at or to the database. So uh, let's start to, by navigating to this URL. I already did this and we are here on the download MySQL community server and download the newest version of the DMG archive for Mac OS X. Click on download. You don't need to log in. Click just no thanks, just start my download. I already did this. So I'm clicking on my uh, DMG and I open this file and I click on continue, continue, and I click on accept. If I accept the terms and conditions of MySQL, if you not uh, agree with them, then click decline. But otherwise, uh, but if you do it, you're, you're not able to use MySQL. So click on accept. Here you can change the directory of your installation. It's not recommended because it's a good uh, folder here click on install now you need to uh, type in your computer password it will uh, install it may take one or two seconds and now it's really important that you uh, remember uh, this temporary password that pops up right now because otherwise you're not able to change anything at the database so I make a screenshot of this click OK and close this I go to the finder, this is the newest one, yes, I open this, then go back here, I open the terminal, sudo dot, I just uh, type in dot, it's not a comment, uh, so it will say it's not a comment, but I can uh, uh, now type in your computer password, uh, sorry try again, uh, but now uh, you uh, can uh, multiple uh, options, you can uh, do uh, multiple uh, operations. Now uh, navigate to uh, your uh, directory where MySQL is installed, it's uh, installed in MySQL and in bin we can use some uh, functions or operations so we say mysql dot u root p and now there is an error uh, i show you because i think it's very important to know uh, if you click enter you need to uh, enter the password for uh, mysql the temporary password for the root so uh, type it in and I'm logged in. This should normally not work <coughs> uh, because <coughs> normally uh, the server is not running. So I show you how it will work when the server is not running. So the server is stopped normally. So uh, I click exit here and uh, log in again. Dash u root u dash u is for the user and dash b is for uh, the password. Now uh, we need to type in the password again. U F E D F U plus P E one J F. Click enter, and now it says can't connect to local MySQL so through socket temporary blah blah blah. Okay, we need to start this MySQL server. It take a second. Now it's running, and. You come to this if you click on uh, System Preferences and uh, click here 
on MySQL. Uh, type in uh, mysql.root uh, mysql uh, dash root dash b type in the mysql the temporary password it's you have you have another password so type in your password and now we're locked into the uh, mysql uh, uh, operation system so uh, you can't do anything to this database right now because we when we say use mysql it says you must reset your password using alter user statement blah 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 okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to set alter user uh, password expire never don't do this on a normal server i just do it on your local server or local host because uh, it's really a security issue if you do this uh, but uh, I do this uh, right now because I don't want to change my password every now and then. So I enter this. Uh, it's not running. Okay, I, I need to uh, set up my user password before. So I enter this statement set password for root at localhost equals uh, password. And now insert your new password. I say root. You can insert whatever you want, but you need to remember this one. Okay, everything works fine. And now we can uh, use this statement because I don't want to change the password every now and then. So I say, okay, everything works fine. Now I go exit. And if I want to log in again, mysql-u root-b. And if I insert my new password root, it works. And if I click use MySQL, it will uh, uh, allow me to read the database. So everything works fine. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I exit and I say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me thumbs up if you like this video. Don't uh, forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, to uh, get every now and then new videos. Uh, and if you have any questions, any doubts, let me know. Let me know in the uh, comment section. I will try to answer any questions. And of course, uh, if you have any troubles in some other uh, uh, programming uh, uh, stuff, uh, let me know, and I will try to help you or uh, make a tutorial on some things. So, see you again soon. Bye.